guys, it is me, Chloe, looking like an absolute hungover mess. I don't feel too bad, but the headache is strong. Um, I'm saying that, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> Today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts, opinions, just the overall feelings I got from semi-final one. We've finally done it. We've, we have went for a semi-final. So I'll do what I did in 2019, talk about the songs, qualifiers, but one thing I didn't do in 2019, which I'm going to do this year, is I watched um, the Netherlands, Germany and Italy's full performance after the show last night and I'm going to give you my thoughts on them as well. Um, that's what it's going to be like. Um, I want to keep this short and sweet because this light is making this headache worse. Um, I've taken tablets and it's just not helping. So try and keep this short and sweet, but short and sweet with me is like half an hour. So let's just get into it. Also, can I just say this is the notebook that I was um, doing my like qualifiers and my notes in last night. I love it. Someone needs to take my paper chase card away from me. It is a problem. So we opened the show with Lithuania and when I tell you, I kind of just say I cried when I heard like the Tadum. It was like, this is my national anthem right here. Genuinely just cried. Um, and then when Lithuania, like it's not a sad song, but I just cried because I was like, this is the perfect opener to bring back Eurovision. Um, this was just absolutely perfect. Like, oh. I feel like Eurovision is back. I loved the performance. It was just so fun. And oh, all the split screening effect that they did and just the colours, it really stood out. And I, even though I've heard the songs for months now, like it was obvious it was one that was going to be remembered, even though it was your opener. Um, I haven't taken notes about where the qualifiers drew. Um, in the running order. Probably should have done that. That way I could have talked about that a bit, but I guess we're not gonna do that. Um but yeah, it was just amazing to open up with the rip of of all all songs. I think it was a perfect way to be like, you've not had your vision for like seven hundred days. Here you go. And I loved it. I am very, very, very happy that they qualified. Um it actually like kind of struck me how emotional Virus was um, when he qualified. I thought he would have known, but I guess it's also just that they've been waiting two years for this and it must be so hard on them as well to still have to wait for the qualifiers and then some of them just not make it. So, oh, I loved it. I loved it. It was just amazing. Everything about it was spectacular. So move on to Slovenia now. Um, can I just say, say she still didn't stand in the right spot and it pissed me off when I watched it. I started screaming. I was like, she was slightly off when the burst happened and then she was like in front of like, I think where she was meant to stand where like the light was. And I was like, it's, it's a cue technically. Like you should just know. They should have went over that with her. Anyway, I'm gonna move on from that. Um, it made me emotional for so I don't know if I was just hyper emotional last night because like I said in my qualified reaction one a moment it's my time of the month it is that time of the month for me and I get overly emotional anyway and I wasn't drunk by this point I think I downed one of my drinks because why not I'd have to I'd have to try and remember that but I feel like I dimmed a drink by this point and I was on my second drink already by song two maybe by song one um I was on my second drink which is even worse but amen it got me emotional it really like for some reason hit and um whilst it got me emotional I I just knew like to me this was the only one I couldn't really see sneaking through Despite the support it had in its semi, I couldn't see it making its way through. it. Um, it'll be interesting to see, just in general, for both the semi-finals when the second one happens, what is going to, what the jury results, what the televote results, what just the overall results are going to look like. I feel like the semi is going to be very, very close. And it was really hard to even begin predicting. And you'll see that, like, I mean, the predictions are kind of... 
around the same mark. But yeah, we'll get into that in like a couple of minutes. I hope Slovenia come back with something next year that just, I don't know, isn't as safe. Because let's be honest, so if we take their last two qualifying entries, Sebi and Halene, they were both, so both very different, but they were quite experimental. Like Sebi was more contemporary. It wasn't just a ballad. It was kind of taking a risk with that slower camish type of song but it paid off for them and fallen how do you say it halane that was just bonkers and they qualified from it so i think um if i go back to 2017 they didn't qualify with like a, a traditional ballad i think they would have struggled with um voda last year but it was better than amen and i don't know i i just i feel like they need to start just not being safe because not being safe has paid off for them in the past but it also hasn't so it's just the luck of the draw as well i guess three russia oh my god goosebumps chills she gave me everything i wanted in those three minutes and um wow that performance it's when she like turned around and she's singing to the led screen that was when I was like, oh my god, I could cry at this, and I'm so close to crying at this. Um, it was really empowering as well. It was just amazing to watch. I, it was such a show that you couldn't help but just like go like that. Like you, you couldn't take your eyes off it for two minutes, uh, for three minutes actually. And oh, I'm glad she qualified. I. I know I said um, I was worried that she wouldn't, but I think when I was getting closer to it, I was like, this has to qualify. If this doesn't qualify, there's some injustice. Um, and by that point, I was like, I know this is going through, so I don't need to really worry about it too much. <laughs> Fourth is Sweden. I'll be honest, I had so many doubts after watching the clips and just hearing what people were saying about it in the press centre and online press centre. And it was just, my thing was, yes, the song, I will admit, Voices isn't the first song in a long time for Sweden I have loved, but it's not obviously the most out there song. It is, it is a safe song, but I, I kind of like it. I mean, I do like it. I don't know why I'm saying that. But it's Tusa for me that sells this song. And genuinely, oh God, I get emotional just thinking about the performance. Last night, this was the first song I properly cried to, like a tear dropped, because I felt everything he was singing. Um, I felt what he was wanting me to feel in that moment. And uh, it genuinely, although it had its differences from Melfest, it captured what the Melfest performance had. It captured that magic, that, that tug on the heartstrings, that I've got a message and I'm trying to give it to you and I'm just trying to live my my dream on this stage. It gave me everything that Melfest gave me and they'd fix the lighting and it just felt like yes. Whilst I did have doubts, I was like at the end I knew Sweden was going through after watching that performance. Cuz if it hadn't it would have been it would have probably been really bad for Tusa, but I am wondering where this came because I don't think this is up there and it's qualified. I do think it is lower, if I'm being honest, right? It will be interesting to see what the jury vote and tell vote discrepancy is between this song. Because I think if it, <clears throat> sorry, because I think if it does come like, 10th to 7th let's say which I think it probably has <clears throat> but the jury votes had him much higher and the tell votes been quite low the, the Swedish broadcaster needs to start taking risks with Malfest but I can't really say much because I don't have the full result yet I, I could obviously go into a lot more detail in my final um my grand final overall prediction predictions thoughts blah 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 
when we have the full result and I can talk that through I'd be able to maybe discuss this a bit more but I feel like this will <sighs> on one side of the coin had they not qualified they would have straight away rehauled Melvis I don't know if they'll straight away do it this year because they still have qualified but I hope their result if it is lower than usual just makes them dial up the notches a little because it is getting a little boring. I mean, you saw how critical I am of Sweden in the past. I mean, you saw it that massive compilation I did um, a couple of videos back. They need to just stop being safe. Yeah, that's what I'll say on that. I, I, I'll go on a tangent if I don't cut it off somewhere. But all I'm saying is I'm very happy he qualified for just himself. Because it obviously meant so much to him. He's 19 and like, it felt right on the night for him to qualify um five oh god australia well i had to say it i said it in my top video i remember saying both about australia and romania which i'm gonna have a great about when we get to it i both i said about both they're in trouble of not qualifying and look what fucking happens um <sighs> this was this marks the end of their 100% qualification streak. Um, I mean, it wasn't a long one, to be honest. Well, 20, 2016 to 2021, missing out a year. It is quite long. Um, making Ukraine, which we'll get to, the only country with a 100% qualification streak. Um, does this deserve to be their first non-qualification? Fuck no. They have had worse entries that should not have qualified but that was when the jury were still up Australia's arse anyway moving on from that she nailed her live on tape it you would not have been able to tell and people were saying that from watching the like dress rehearsals and the jury show and I was like surely it can't be that smooth but I genuinely was like whoa like that was smooth if I hadn't known she wasn't there I wouldn't have known at all and I don't think the commentators should have mentioned anything I know the BBC did um if other commentators did as well they just shouldn't have mentioned it because it would not have been noticeable um and you would have thought she was there until they did her interview um yeah I I'm just so sad for her because I think whilst I was not the biggest fan of Don't Break Me last year Technicolor really was like yes this is wow I love this this is if this is what Montaigne does I like I like her style um and it it opened up this opportunity for some new type of music in Eurovision I just don't know I can't predict where this has come because I'm not too sure how the juries would have reacted to it and I, I'm not too sure how the televote would have reacted to it either I think what has happened with the televote is the ser the th maybe three or four countries I'm thinking of have really just sucked all of the televote points and maybe it was really up to the juries to discrep in not discrep in to like decipher sorry everything else with their result um that's what I'm thinking but I guess we'll see we'll see that this is probably wrong in a couple of days time <sighs> I'm just so annoyed because this did not deserve to be the first non-qualification the first non-qualification should have happened in 2017 um, but that's, I'll keep that in the box, locked away forever. Um, she nailed it. She just deserves to be so proud of herself and I think she is. I think she is so proud of herself. Um, she didn't have the full capacity that everyone else is going to have and she's, she should still be proud of herself. North Macedonia at six, Jesus Christ is all I can say for this. I'm a huge musical theatre fan, right? I mean, I love my musicals. I think that's why I gravitated to this song so much. I didn't instantly hate it when I feel like maybe I would have in the past, but I've grown to love my musicals in the last maybe two or three years. Um, and God, this performance was like, 
I had my like I was like this the entire time like I was just watching it and feeling every single word he was singing I don't I don't know I feel like a lot of people now think they would have done better than like bottom three in the semi um I think that's now like kind of a, a unanimous decision I'm I'm with that agreement I think this has done a lot better than what we all would have initially thought because there is a market for that music I mean right right here and I think the juries would have appreciated this a lot it wouldn't surprise me if this has qualified with the juries I'm just and just didn't have enough support from the televote because it like I said previous the televote got sucked by those like first couple of like the top couple of countries um I guess we'll see what happens there but this performance just it was emotional um and I actually wouldn't have been surprised if it made it but I also wasn't surprised when it didn't it was very much on that borderline region for me seven Ireland oh god um I just knew oh I just knew it wasn't gonna qualify I just knew it her vocals last night were not great and I still stand by the staging as a huge compensation for the song not being great because oh God. let's be honest here if the staging had been very subpar we would have known from the start that in this semi-final it was not going to qualify it felt like they had used the staging as an advantage had they kept the staging in the in the storybook in that immersion for the full three minutes it would have been so much more effective but it it's when they broke it and that's when i was like why would you do that it just feels like they ruined something so good um uh, i'm not gonna lie i don't have a lot for this because i just my main thing was i knew this wasn't gonna go through like i said in my second rehearsal reaction Leslie's vocals were either hit or miss and the staging didn't fit it and look what happened Cypress next um she ate that shit I god I was on the floor I was dead like the bi panic had hit I was like women 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 do this and I can't concentrate she served that I mean her vocals were all right not the best I've heard her um but she still made it through I think I'm not too sure if this has done as well as the televote as we would have initially thought I don't know but the the staging like the staging was so good in that clip but it just all came together and she just she knew what she was doing with certain things and I was like women I love them <laughs> nine is Norway this is an interesting one because I got actual goosebumps when he took his glasses off jeez it was like he was opening up <laughs> um he was showing himself and he was being vulnerable and it it was really nice to see it was wow i i genuinely had like warmed to it and it's so funny to think i've come full circle on this song from not being the biggest fan of it to kind of warming to it to really liking it on the night and i just i knew by the end i was like he's got this he he has this on lock he is in that final um and look what happens i mean like like i said in the reaction um to the rehearsal nothing much had changed from the uh from melody grand prix but it was just it was him that really made the difference on the night 10th is croatia oh no oh no oh albina she deserves so much better oh she just brought it she she brought it that night and it will be very interesting to see what this is 
I do think it is 11th. I don't even think it's 12th. I genuinely do think this is 11th. Um, I can't, I cannot see any other country being 11th right now to me. Like that staging really had me in, like just like Elena from Cyprus. She knew what she was doing and women. Um, God, God forbid, God forbid is all I can say. She nailed it and I, I just don't understand. Maybe the juries went for Israel and I'll get onto that in a second, but I mean, Belgium's just in between so I can kind of compare. After Israel's performance, I was like, it's either going to be Israel or Croatia that misses out um, and we'll see what happens. I just didn't think it was going to be Croatia. I feel like, I felt more, that Croatia was more accessible but maybe the juries pulled up Eden's vocals more. I don't know. I get, like I said, we'll see how that pans out in a couple of days' time. But I'm just so sad this didn't qualify. Oh. She deserved it so much. Belgium. I'm, I vote here I'm shocked, but I did predict it to qualify. So I don't... I think I'm just personally shocked that it, it got through. It had the support, but I'm also kind of not. Um, basically, I, I don't feel like the camera angles on this staging did it any justice. I feel like it just wasn't... I don't know, I didn't, I didn't feel what I wanted to feel from the song. And I, I said that in my reaction. I, I said this doesn't feel like the best type of staging for it. It left me quite empty. But I know there's a market for that type of song out there. And that's why I'm also kind of just not shocked it didn't it, it did qualify um yeah there's so much I can say on this because I'm just I'm 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 happy it qualified I, I'm I'm happy it qualified um and then it was just that like is it is it not so yeah I mean moving on to Israel she brought it she she nailed the whistle notes and she's now the the one to sing the highest note in eurovision history good on her um let's give her a clap please she she brought it um i just felt like croatia and israel came too much like too soon after each other how did they put i feel like right here's me trying to rearrange this keep croatia 10th but just swap israel and azerbaijan so it went croatia belgium azerbaijan romania and israel Ukraine Malta I feel like that just would have flowed nicer not split the vote so like s how am I trying to say this I feel like it wouldn't be as obvious that Israel and Croatia were very similar in style and kind of staging as well it's it was going to be to either detriment and I don't know why they've done that now looking at it when they could have just swapped Israel and Azerbaijan and been a bit more like it would have been a bit more of a a diverse running order at the end I don't know but she brought it and she has qualified um, I'm very happy for her um, you can tell she really wanted it and yeah did I I actually didn't what yeah see in my predict we'll get on to it but my thought was still with Croatia at the end and I thought right Croatia will qualify and it was the other way around so that makes sense god do I have to do I have to talk about Romania um before I get on to this, right? Oh god, am I gonna get emotional probably? Um before I get on to just what I thought, I think I need to talk about why Amnesia really hit with me this year. Basically last year, I know we all struggled with our mental health last year, but for me it was before lockdown that really hit. Um and it was like the start of the month, January, February, March, and I just was struggling really badly. And I mean, I did stuff I'm not proud of. I won't go fully into details, obviously. It's triggering. Um, and just had I taken it, or had I just taken a couple more things, um, I wouldn't be here right now. And to have a song like Amnesia that really, that really just helped me realize I wasn't alone. Like, it's going to seem so cheesy, but when she sang You're Not Alone last night, it broke me. 
um, because it felt like she was talking to me because I still go through those days where I struggle and I'm like maybe it would just be better if I wasn't here and I'm like no you've got your full life ahead of you remember, just remember that you love yourself and that that's why this song was so close to me because I was at that point and I almost I almost went through with it um and it just ha ah, <laughs> it's just for me that's why the song was like it was genuinely like to me it was my song um and it, it broke me to watch the performance I was in tears so much so that I was crying after it into Azerbaijan's performance and it just was oh I was in, oh, this was one of her best vocal performances yet she just kept improving and kept improving and I was like I kind of just held out hope I think personally I wanted to hold out hope but in the back of my mind I was like I know this isn't qualifying why am I predicting it to qualify and then I've just set myself up for the emotional mess that you saw last night um it just it oh, it hurts when a song that you really relate to and you love with your full heart doesn't qualify i had grown up so attached to amnesia um and that's why it hurt when it didn't qualify last night because i was in that position i i know what that's like to to just not love yourself anymore Azerbaijan um I will say the last like 30 seconds where all the pyro kicked in is was was just when it really kicked off wasn't it that was when I was like right okay I'm paying attention now I mean good job but she I mean she brought it she yeah I mean I was crying like halfway into this performance still from Romania but I wasn't too sure on this if I'm being honest if it was going to qualify and you'll see that in my predictions I didn't predict it to qualify I don't know why I didn't predict it to qualify um I guess I was holding out hope on Romania and thinking Croatia would as well um but it makes sense why it qualified I'm not saying it didn't deserve to qualify um so to anyone who thinks I was disrespectful in my reaction last night you didn't really watch me watch the performances so that's fun Ukraine yes 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 served served me everything I wanted on a silver platter that was iconic um I would not be surprised um maybe not winning the semi maybe actually if I'm being honest maybe maybe winning the semi but I think this was a televote winner maybe very high up in the juries I think this is one to watch out for although I don't think the EBU is looking forward to the prospect of working with the Ukrainian broadcaster again after 2017 but it's a possibility so we'll see what happens I'm excited for this in the final and M Malta as well yes she genuinely that l bridge was all the winner vibe i had like it was yes 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 um both ukraine and malta are a fantastic way to kind of just close off the show as a package um and both felt like winners and it's going to be very interesting what happens on saturday it's like you'd think watching the shows clears it up and it's just made it 10 times more confusing let's talk about automatic qualifiers so like i said i watched the full performances after the show uh let's talk about italy first also a winner right there that performance you could literally put that on the winner's reprise and i would not be shocked um right now this is going to stand out because we've got a lot of just poppy upbeat songs and this is just different from that um i feel like they just want to give it their all and that's what they were giving me in this performance and i just kept watching it i've watched this like five times now and i'm like 
this is my winner. This is my overall winner that I will be rooting for on Saturday, no matter what happens. And um, I'm like still mentally preparing myself for it not to win, but we'll see what happens. Oh, Germany. I love this. This was just fun. Like he's just given it his all. And whilst it does affect his vocal, I kind of just like it. I like it. It's a bit of fun. Um, I'm not going to lie. I would not be surprised if this is last, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it's last. I don't think it's going to be last. Um, I can't predict who's going to be last because we don't have all this, uh, the finalists. Um, but if it is a big five or the host, I will be very disappointed because I don't think any of them deserve it, if I'm being honest. And then let's move on to the Netherlands. Oh God, that had me emotional. Um, that performance captures what he wants to send out perfectly. That, it captured me straight away with just the cracks like happening in the LED and it just should not be last is all I'm going to say on that. Obviously watching like a jury final performance is very different to watching the actual final so I'll, I'll see how I really feel about them all on the night. But the qualifiers, this all just rimmed off the video. So if you don't know, I do a pre-show and during the show prediction, both desired and predicted qualifiers. So there's like four sets of qualifiers in total. Um, looking at it, my desired cross both got six out of 10. I think it was about the same countries if I'm being honest. Oh no, it wasn't. Um, I think I just, why did I swap out Sweden? That makes no sense, Chloe, that could have been a seven. Um, okay, and then the ones that really matter are the predicted qualifiers. So prior to the show, I got 7 out of 10, missing out Croatia, Ireland and uh, Romania. Those are the three I predicted that didn't get through. And during the show, I did one better. I got 8 out of 10. Um, if I would have just swapped Croatia and Romania for Israel and Azerbaijan, it would have been a full 10 out of 10. Um... Which is actually pretty good for the semi. I genuinely thought it was going to be worse. And I wasn't going to be able to predict anything. So the fact my final like prediction got 8 out of 10. I'm happy with that. That was my thoughts. I think the show overall. I mean the BBC does stupid things over like the intervals during the semis. So I, I have to watch the show back. But I think just everything the broadcaster has done so far has been amazing. The production is amazing. The show is just so good. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing the semi-final. And then the final. Let me know what you guys thought about the show down in the comments below. What what were your predictions like? What were some of your favourite performances? And um, who do you think missed out? Thanks for watching the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Because we still got more videos coming this week. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it of course follow my social medias that are down in the description below comment your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one take care stay safe please stay safe during this time especially if you are going to the shows um, and I will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye guys